The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number eight, we have one of these three-part questions. We were asked which are correct, so let's just go through them one at a time, P, Q, and R. So statement P says e to the 4 ln x is equal to 4x. We're just supposed to see whether that's true or not. Well, the only way that you can cancel out things is if you have e to the ln of something, that uh, is a way of canceling that out. If you have a coefficient in front, you actually have to move that into the ln before you can do anything like that. So remember that if you have a coefficient in front of an ln, that's equivalent to a power of the whole argument. Your argument of the ln is x. So this is the same thing as e to the ln of x to the 4. e to the ln of x to the 4 then is x to the 4 because the e and the ln cancel out. x to the 4 and 4x are not the same thing, so this is not true. So P, we have it as false. So Q says log of 2x cubed is equal to 3 log of 2x. Okay, so this is trying to use the rule that we just did here in reverse. If you have a power, it goes in front of the, the ln or the log. Okay, the problem with this one is that you can only do that if everything was to the third power. 2x cubed, you can't move that cube there because the, it's not 2x in parentheses cubed. If it was this, then yes, you definitely could move that 3 in front and you'd have 3 log of 2x. That's not what we have here, so this is incorrect. Okay, and finally, r. This says that log x over log y is equal to log of x minus y. So this looks kind of similar to one of your basic log rules and how to split them up. However, this is done in the wrong order. The right rule here is that the log of x over y is equal to log x minus log y. That is the rule that is true that you should have memorized as one of your log rules. You notice what they did here is they split, they reversed the operations. They put subtraction inside is division outside. That's not true. A division inside is the same thing as a subtraction of two logarithms. So R is also false. So that leaves us that none of these are true. Answer choice A. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu